Hello, my name is uh, Shorton Dussault, and um, this is a tutorial on how to break up a wall and um, how to make those pieces fly towards the camera dynamically. I'm going to use the uh, self fracture add on to do the, uh, the fracturing operation. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to do a boolean operation. Just have uh, add a icosphere to the scene and use that as a a boolean uh, cutting object. Uh, this is you can of course just go in and uh, and do the the modeling manually if you like. Uh, in this case, that would take uh, a little bit too long and I uh, thing is with fracturing you don't necessarily need to be that clean anyway so you just have to make sure that uh, what you get out is uh, looks looks okay um, there's only as far as I can tell I think there's only two real things you need to be careful about the one is uh, that you have no holes in your mesh and that they don't intersect. Um, yeah, I'm setting up two materials, one uh, for the wall and one for the, the inner pieces, inner faces. And I'm making that into a bright color so that I can see the uh, the inner inner cut. And I'm also assigning that inner material to the icosphere. And uh, then you can see that those inner faces get, get that, that bright color. And I'm duplicating the wall and changing the operation to uh, to difference so that you have two different objects one with difference and one with uh, intersect uh, two different objects, two different modifiers and uh, I'm going to convert both uh, into uh, just normal geometry so I uh, do Alt-C and uh, do a convert to mesh then I take the inner piece put on to its own layer and I'm going to do the uh, the fracturing. So just activate the self fracture add-on, uh, go down to the, the button, you can also hit spacebar and just type self fracture and uh, then that window pops up. So the way I'm going to do fracturing is uh, I'm going to base it on points. So I just take one point, uh, duplicate that a lot of times uh, and then each of those points represent one one piece more or less so you can also do this with the particles you can do it based on the the points of the the object itself the reason I'm doing it like this is just so that I can control it manually it's a very nice way of controlling exactly where you want the pieces to be so I get more pieces in the middle and, and less out to the the sides of the the piece Now I'm uh, parenting that point cloud uh, to the, the object itself so that the, the point cloud is a uh, child of the, the object and I'm turning on child vertices as point source and um, here's a uh, overview of the most important um, settings uh, recursion to one material one so that you use the second material on that object Margin is set to very very low. It's uh, 0 0.0001. Uh, get a, they get a group and the layer index to three, so that these pieces they end up on a specific layer. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, now you just hit OK and let the add-on do its thing. And this is what we get. Just uh, checking the the fracture and see if uh, if it works. Um, it's always a good idea to check and see if uh, if your fracturing operation if it went. Uh, <laughs> there's the boolean uh, object. It's always a good idea to check if it actually worked and um, and. Uh, when you do a fracture, it's also smart to set up a, a preset so that you can easily go back to the previous settings because 
when I do fracturing, I, I it's very often a, a trial and error process. Just go back and forth all the time and uh, tweak settings. Now we are uh, at the second part of this tutorial. I'm going to set up the dynamics and I'm going to use the um, the game engine logic. I'm uh, giving the floor a little bit of a margin and I'm pulling it down uh, by 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1 on the z-axis. And now I'm uh, changing the world settings, so subset to uh, <laughs> to 10 um, and um, 6 uh, FPS to uh, the frames per second to 24 in the world settings. If you don't set uh, change that, then you will have uh, a slow motion effect. And sometimes that's nice, but most often you probably want to change it. And I'm making the um, the projectile or the the thing that is going to move the the fragments. That's just uh, an icosphere. It can be anything. Um, then I open the the logic editor and make a always uh, and a simple motion actuator. And then I'm going to to link those. Uh, set the uh, motion to 0 0.13 uh, on the negative uh, negative y-axis. And now you see that the the fractures they they fall before they before the projectile hits them. So we have to set up some uh, some logic for that. And the way I do that is just I make a, an always uh, sensor and a um, edit um, object, change that to dynamics and to um, uh, suspend dynamics. So they start suspended and then I um, make a nair uh, sensor, uh, set the property to trigger and I'm going to give uh, the projectile uh, a, tr uh, a property called trigger so that when trigger hits or is close to these, this shard, uh, we are going to restore the the dynamics. So there, I, I selected the projectile and added a game property trigger called uh, trigger. Now I just select all the. Uh, pieces. We already had a group, so that was practical. Hit spacebar, copy logic to uh, to select it. And now you see it gets close. They get start. Um, they uh, go from suspended dynamics to to actually becoming uh, dynamic, and then they get hit by the projectile. Uh, they, <laughs> I am tweaking the the distance on the nair sensor just so that they. Uh, they don't start falling too soon. So now you see we get a little bit more predictable or a little bit better result. Nice. So next step is uh, to record this dynamic, um, this uh, this motion into uh, actual F curves. Just. Uh, game record animation from the, the menu and uh, there you see we have it in the, the viewport but the problem is there is some intersection with the, with the wall so the way I'm going to solve this is just set up a, um, a geometry that is meant only as a blocking geometry just scale it up tweak it make sure that it uh, uh, has the shape that I want and uh, then just rerun the the simulation and now Get a little bit better results. So this is one way that you can control your your uh, simulation and choreograph. So this is this is the effect. So thanks for watching.